Hello, this time I will teach you how to create a form with smooth rounded corners. This is almost impossible in Windows form, as many know, applying only a rounded region to the form will make the corners look pixelated or choppy, and a control can be easily fixed by drawing an outer border with the same color of the form or container control, as I showed you in the custom controls videos above. However, that gave me the idea to do the same with the form, I mean, get the back background color of the form and draw an outer border, but the background on the back of the form will not have a single color, like in this case, my desktop is a picture of many colors, so it will be necessary to obtain colors from at least the four corners of the form so that it mixes correctly with the background and thus appear smooth rounded corners. However, for a better result, I recommend getting more colors from the key points of the form boundaries and thereby drawing a gradient border. Alright. Let's start with the tutorial. Here I have already created a Windows form project, for now we will not do anything in the design, we simply go to the form code. We define fields for border radius, border size and border color. In the constructor, we remove the border style from the form, and set a padding equal to the set border size. Now that the form has no border, it lost the title bar, the drag, resize functionality and among others, so it will be necessary to re-implement them. I will not do it now, since the objective of the tutorial is to create a form with soft rounded corners. This time I will only add the title bar and the function of dragging the form and here I already have the necessary code, which also allows you to minimize the form from the taskbar. This is a native method of the operating system, so it is necessary to import the interop services. Alright, now we call these methods from the most down event of the form. The form should be this way, without borders but draggable. Well, now we will make the form have rounded corners and we will also draw the border with the parameters defined in the fields, for this we define the following private methods. This method allows you to create a rounded graphics path from a set rectangle and radius, this method was done in the previous videos of rounded custom controls. Here you simply create a graphics path object, add 4 arcs at the corners of the rectangle, and finally return the path. And this other method allows you to create a region and rounded border of a form, for this the previous method is necessary, in addition to allowing you to transform and scale the graphics, that is, the border will be drawn within the limits of the form, many saw in the videos of custom controls, that when drawing the border, it goes out of bounds that is due to the thickness of the pen. The quick fix was to decrease the structure of the rectangle based on the border size, however that is a limited trivial method. Therefore it could be said that this is an advanced and definitive method, which allows to apply a rounded region and draw any border thickness exactly within the bounds of the rectangle. Alright, now we call this method from the paint event of the form. As parameters we send the form, border radius, the graphics object of the paint event, border color and border size. Great, 
the border is drawn exactly within the limits of the form, the rounded region is applied correctly, however, the corners of the form don't look smooth and sticking out, as does the left and top, but here comes the trick, in this space we will draw an outer border of the same color as the background on the back of the form, for example in this case, draw the border of the same color of the Visual Studio background. That way the outstanding pixelated corners will be mixed with the Visual Studio background, thus appearing smooth rounded corners. However, as I said in the introduction, the background color on the back of the form can have many colors, therefore to have a good result, we must obtain at least four colors from the limits of the corners of the form. I will override the background paint event, this is optional, you can do it in the painting event, I do it this way because I like to separate tasks and responsibilities. Note that the paint background event runs before the paint event. Well, we define a rectangle starting from the client area of the form. We define the size for the four rounded rectangles that I mentioned above, the width will be equal to half the width of the form, in the same way with the height. If you want you can set a smaller size. Very well, let's start by drawing the top left rounded rectangle. To minimize the code, we will create a method that is responsible for making the drawings. As parameters, we set a rectangle, a graphics object and color. Using the using statement, we create a graphics path object from the get rounded path method. Remember that this method returns a rounded path from a rectangle and radius. We create a pen object with the color set in the parameter and with a thickness of 3. Finally we draw the path with the previous objects. Well. Let's continue with the drawing of the upper left rounded rectangle, we call the method draw path and send the required parameters, just for this case we send the dimensions of the entire form, we send the graphics object of the paint event, and the red color, now we do not yet have the colors of the back background of the form. Alright, now we will draw the top right rounded rectangle, define a rectangle with the defined parameters and draw the path. We do the same for the bottom left and right. The drawings should be this way, each rounded rectangle is drawn in the four corners of the form, I will comment on the drawing of the border of the form to see better.
In order not to have any inconvenience, the first rectangle should be drawn around the border of the form and the rest in the corresponding corners. You can draw smaller rectangles. Alright, now in order for these outer borders of the form to blend into the background on the back of the form, we need to get and set the corresponding color of each corner of the form. Here I already have the necessary code, a structure to store the color of each corner of the limits of the form, and a method that allows to set and obtain these colors. The functionality is simple, you create a size 1 bitmap object, a graphics object to draw on the bitmap, a rectangle to set the coordinates, then take a screenshot on the bitmap using the object graphics with the set parameters, finally get the pixel color of the bitmap and set the color structure field of the form boundaries. Well, we return to the background painting event and define a local field to obtain and set the colors of the outer limits of the form, remember that this method returns a structure, so we simply obtain these fields to make the drawings of the rounded rectangles of each corner of the form. Great, the colors are obtained correctly, however it does not update when the form is moved to another location. To solve the problem we redraw the borders when the form is moved, resized or regains focus. Very good, the borders are drawn correctly with the colors of the boundaries of each corner of the form, however they are not smooth, but that does not matter since these borders will be behind the main border and client area of the form. It is then optional to set the anti-aliasing mode to the graphics object of the paint background event. Great, the form blends in nicely with any desktop background color. We redraw the border of the form on the outer borders. Okay, that would be it as far as setting the rounded region, smoothing the outer border, and drawing the border of the form. Now we'll add a container panel to add other dockable controls and hide the rectangles that are drawn on the form. We add another panel for the title bar of the form.
the background color of the title bar and the border color of the form must always be the same. We also set the function of moving the form from the title bar panel. The rounded corners have lost their smoothness since the container panel fills the entire form and does not fit into the rounded region of the form. On the other hand, when moving the form there are white flickers. The quick fix for that is to also set the same border color to the background color of the form. Ok, the white flickers have been removed, now we will return the smoothness to the rounded corners of the form, for that we must also set a rounded region to the container panel and draw a thin border. We select the container panel and subscribe the painting event. We create a similar method as was done with the form. This is a much simpler method, it has the parameters to receive the control, the radius value, a graphics object, and the border color. A rounded path object is created, a size 1 pen object is created, the smoothing mode is set, the rounded region is set, and finally the thin border is drawn. Alright, so we call this method from the paint event of the container panel. As parameters, we send the container panel, the value of the border radius, in this case we subtract the border size divided by 2, since the form has a padding of the same border size value, so that will make the container panel smaller. To understand better, I will explain this in the form design. If the size of the border is 5, then the padding of the form will also be 5, and as you can see the container panel is much smaller, the same happens with other values. Therefore the value of the border radius must be smaller, that is obtained by subtracting the border radius and the border size divided by 2. Well, let's continue. We send the graphics object and the border color. Great, the form has regained its smoothness in the corners. You should do something similar in case you add other docked panels or docked controls. Another thing, if the back background has colors of very different tones, the top and left border will be visible as in this case. Then, as I mentioned in the introduction of the video, for a better result, you can get more colors from the limits of the form and draw gradient color lines. I will not do it in this video as there are things you have to do yourself to gain experience. Well, you can also add the close, maximize and minimize button, add the snap window function, and change the form size from the borders, although I don't recommend it as it will have a lot of flickering. Well, that's all in this video, I hope you liked it, until next time.